Hello Tune Collector, so I was going through one of my used toys shops and I ran across this line, Super Def SDFs by uh, Hero Cross. I know Hero Cross for making like 6 inch action figures or tuned action figures. I think I have one or two, maybe a Boba Fett or a Darth Vader, I forget. Um, but these are 2 inch, and so they have a 2 inch, a 4 inch, and a 6 inch version of these characters from Transformers. I guess they had Wave 1, which were all the more modern Transformer movies. Frankly, I'm not really a fan of them. Maybe that one's alright. They're just too much. There's too, they're too busy. There's too much going on. I prefer the old school stuff, you know, because I'm an old person. But, uh, I enjoy the more cartoonish appearance of the original stuff instead of this pack how many as much detail as you can. I swear I just cut that piece of tape, right? Well, before we open that, let's see if there's anything important here. Well, you got those guys. That's the lineup there, so. I actually could have bought in three. You know, like, I think it was a Jazz and Bumblebee, and but I skipped on them because I want to, I don't know, I just don't like it, but now I'm starting to think I regret that position, that decision. I might have to buy this whole wave, but do it piecemeal. So, Soundwave is one of my favorites. Uh, as far as uh, Transformers go, I remember watching the old cartoons. Soundwave. Okay, uh, I'm looking for a date. 2017. Uh, sorry, lost focus, but there. So this wave came out in 2017. They're the people credited for making these things. All right. It says two inch. Yeah, it's a little over two inches. And I'm ignoring the base. Yeah, it's a little over. That's fine. Okay, well, it's got <laughs> the base is really almost worthless. The pegs just aren't very long. Because I guess the feet aren't very tall. There are different sizes. I guess you could put some poster putty. Or I guess you could just glue the person down all the time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna have a hard time standing on such small feet. So I think you have to use the stand. Um, it still wants to lean back. Yeah, okay. Let's see what details we have. So, look how small the feet are in proportion to its head. I do like that there's a little silver there, and then we have some red and silver up there, and then you have the play buttons, or well, the controls of the, th the, th the tape player, and then the window actually has a Decepticon logo finely printed, and the yellow and blue, and it looks nice. The arms, does this come off? I don't know if, I think, it obviously rotates, but I don't think it actually comes off. I wonder if the arms rotate. They must be separate pieces. But, yeah, alright, this one does. I don't know what happened with this one. Maybe someone glued it in place. It's got the little cannon or whatever Soundwave has. Some silver paint. Yeah, some gray here. A little red stripes around the cuffs. So really well done. I mean, look at this. is really small. If you ignore this body, this is tiny. And uh, yeah, so many paint details. So then, yeah, the, the visor is just nice and uh, opaque red. And then the... The face mask or whatnot is silver, painted very well, some gray here. No additional paint up in there, sadly. And not much paint, no paint in the back. So, it's cool. It's definitely neat. Uh, I'm going to have to get the other ones, darn it. I should have bought those other two when I had the chance. So, I'm just going to show a variety of little figures I've collected. Here's one of those world's smallest, and uh, this is the Optimus Prime. <laughs> it really is. It really is a small... It is probably the smallest representation of Optimus Prime. So it's quite impressive. I kind of wish they made more of them. This is a Bandai Megatron. Uh, like a little SD Gashapon kind of thing. I don't know how old it is. There's no date, but I'm positive this is by Bandai. But it doesn't actually say B China or anything, so maybe I'm wrong. Leave a leave a note if uh, you know what that really is. A lot of my videos are Gundam Converge, which have no scale. They're deformed versions of those Gundams, so that's actually quite tall. This is a Nendoroid Petite. Uh, I don't know what this character is even called. I just got it because it look it looks like an army character for my Meng tanks. 
And then these Bandai products here, I don't even know what these things are called either, but you, this is Luke Skywalker. And they have everything. They have Avengers, uh, all sorts of different franchises with these bodies and these oversized heads, but I have no idea what the line is called. Uh, I don't know. Leave a comment if you know. All right, so, yeah. I, I almost wish the head of that thing was a little smaller, but at the same time, I think that's the reason why it looks so so cool. It's just so the proportions are so wacky. But I mean, this is going for realism. I don't know if it's capable. I mean, this is cool as well, and and the head's a lot smaller. But I guess they don't want to copy what Bandai does, right? Or to, or maybe this is by Takara, because I think Takara originally owned Transformers. But now it's Hasbro, I believe. So good for you, Hasbro. These are pretty cool. I hope you continue uh, branching out, doing other robots in this scale. But if it's already, these are from 2017. Maybe it's, maybe these just didn't sell. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you when I get the other ones. Bye.